Our sermon today is taken from Galatians chapter 5, and we're going to be looking at verses 16 through 21. Now, specifically, I'm going to be reading 16 through 26, the entire chapter, so that we would not merely end on the bad news uh, of, cha- of uh, verses uh, 19 through 21, but that rather we would, uh, we would understand the full, uh, the full orbed message that Paul is delivering. Now, you remember that last week I mentioned that Paul, in his letters, he tends to have an indicative imperative approach whenever he's writing uh, to the church. The first thing he sets down is things to be believed, the credenda items. These are the, uh, uh, the things that we are supposed to believe about God. These are the, this is the truth taken from his word, building on the scriptures of the Old Testament. Uh, God laid down his, his redemptive truth starting uh, in the Old Testament and then all the way through the New Testament. And so he explains that to the church and then he pivots at some point in all of his letters into a therefore, because of these things, therefore, and then he sets forth what we should do. And now he's gonna be talking about the way that we should be living our lives here on earth. So uh, it's very important that uh, we pay attention to that, to know what it is that we're supposed to be doing in this world, how we're supposed to live, what we're supposed to believe is very important, but what we do with that information and live it out is, is equally important as we're being conformed to the image of Christ. But before we come to the word of God as it was given to the Apostle Paul, let us go before the Lord himself and let's ask for his help. Sovereign Lord, we're going to be dealing with weighty things today. We're going to be dealing with important matters. And I know that whenever that happens, whenever we come to your word and we're dealing with things that are of supreme importance, we know that the evil one is doing his work. We know, Lord, that he'll be at our...